Hello and welcome to the presentation on the MSC Software Development International Systems. My name is Tabia Deville and I am the course director for this program. This is a two-year program which takes place face-to-face -face in Limerick, um, in Ireland of course, and it's a full-time program with 120 credits and we start in the autumn semester. This is a program that is aimed at those who want to learn about software development and who do not have a previous computing degree. I will talk about the target audience a bit more in, in the moment. The other um, focus of this program is on international systems, which I will also talk a little bit about more. And that means we talk, we, we teach their software localization, internationalization and language technology. The overarching goal of this program is to prepare students for interdisciplinary fields. This means that while it is suitable as a conversion degree, where you could switch away from your current field into software development, um, our actual goal is to prepare you so you can use your current field in combination with software development and the understanding of software development topics. As such, we therefore have the two underlying or the sub goals, which are to help you come out of this program with an ability to develop software systems, um, which are customized for individual locales. So that means international software systems, systems that can be used for international markets, and also the capability of researching new trends and approaches in software development and software internationalization. This is incredibly important in this field because it is very fast, fast moving. And at a university program, our goal is not just training where you can perform certain activities, but also to be able to stay up to date with a field. You are not required to have a previous software development experience for this degree. We start you off from scratch, so we have no assumption of you having previous experience in the area. However, it can be beneficial if you have done some programming before. Some people have done this in secondary school or in their own time, for example. Usually what we observe is that these students will be able to take on some advanced topics on the side and that usually the program also catches up with them quite quickly. However, if you have a software development ex um, heavy undergraduate degree, for example, then this program is not suitable for you. You should have a first or second class level eight honors degree in a complementary program. Complementary programs might be, for example, linguistics, arts, humanities, social sciences, science, business, health, or medicine. I would also encourage you, however, to think about your current qualifications and how they might connect to software development. For example, if you have a law degree, it might be interesting to learn about software development and specialize in technical law. It might also be uh, interesting for you to, to consider software development if you have an, a degree in, um, for example, in, in business or in project management, where you might then do technical project management or technical product management with this. You also need to be able to show that you have a sufficient standard of knowledge in English. This program prepares you for a range of potential fields and jobs like a junior software developer. You could go into requirements, engineering, database development, software testing, um, but there is also the areas like localization engineer, translation technology consultant, internationalization consultant, which means that you would specialize in the international markets and how to get the technology ready for these particular areas. Um, however, there is also the possibility and, and the great opportunity by combining what you previously have done with software development to specialize in an overlap between your current field and what, um, what you will learn in this program. For example, if you have a, a law degree, it might be quite interesting to specialize in, in, in law and technology, or if you have a degree in, in, in project management, then maybe um, a technical product owner, a project management position might be attractive for you. So there are many different possibilities of what you might do with this degree afterwards. 
The contents are spread out across four semesters uh, in the two years. So you do a little bit of programming in every semester, you do a little bit of research, um, you do a little bit of the other topics in each semester. So basically we can think of, first of all, the programming content area where you learn Java in programming one and two, you learn um, web and web database and mobile application, and then software design is about making good um, object-oriented software. Then the second content area would be software engineering um, development paradigms, which means you know different ways of approaching software development. For example, agile methodologies, requirements um, is about understanding what is needed for development, human computer interaction. You learn about um, making software that is easy to use, that serves the user well, that can be used you know intuitively and for different audiences and then of course software quality the third block would be the the um, international specific area so there we have language engineering and translation technology there you learn some natural language processing with python and you learn um, about the translation technology that is used to internationalize or, or, or localize rather the um, software that you develop otherwise um, there is best practice software internationalization, which helps you understand how to design and develop software so it is suitable for international markets and translation technology systems is about interoperability, process automation and standards. And then in the fourth block, there is research methods and quantitative research methods where you learn how to conduct research and, and also read academic literature. And then there is a dissertation which is spread out over the last year in the first and the second semester. If you would like to know more about this program, you are welcome to contact me at tabia.deville at ul.ie. You can also consult the website and the documentation that I've linked there. Further, there is some social media you might want to follow. Over the coming weeks, there will be some content made available that will give you more in-depth insight into the into the program but also discuss career development ideas and and continuing education ideas in the field in general thank you for your time and i am looking forward to hearing from you soon or meeting you in limerick maybe in the autumn